Mitch. I don't think the vampire teeth. These are my teeth. I don't think that's what vampires look like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready to go to Mexico? I think we... I feel like somebody started sewing me together. And then... Well, don't pull on it, then you'll come apart. On I'm not pulling you on it. You might... No, I'm not pulling at all. There's no pressure. I'm just running my fingers through it because they're vampire teeth. Or a beard. Which one would you prefer? Probably the beard. Yeah. I think the vampire works best. Alright, time to go to work. You ready? You're for you, not... No, you're coming with me. Not for me. <laughs> what was that? I just can't That's how move you talk. my mouth. Oh. It's really dry and like... Ugh. I can hardly swallow. Mm. And it's showing a weird taste in my mouth. Have you ever had surgery? Uh, yeah. Wait, you had your thing out. Mm-hmm. Do you feel... Weird after it? Nope. Not at all? Not even close. They didn't give you sedation? No, they didn't. Did he give me any post-op instructions? Yeah. What was, what did it say? He gave you everything. They emptied out the stock. Everything they had, they gave stock? you. Stock? Yeah. What stock? The, uh, all the medicine Woodstock? they had. Woodstock? You want to go to Woodstock? Uh, not right now. Okay, because Christmas is tomorrow, so... Woodstock isn't too uh, late. Uh, Don't what, you? Teasing me. I'm not teasing you. Christmas isn't tomorrow. How do you know that? <laughs> Why do they put these little strings if they're not for pulling them out? I asked the same thing. <laughs> what did he say? They're just attached to it so you can pull them out later. In case you accidentally swallow them. <gasps> like an elf. <laughs> <laughs> did you say like an elf? No, like an elf when you're oh. eating the cotton balls. Yeah. So this time, as soon as it starts to go down, you just <laughs> yes. look like that. All strings attached. Did they actually take them out? Your teeth? All three of them? Did you check? No, they're still in there. The surgery is not until tomorrow. Don't say that. My lips are... Something is crusty. I don't like to be crusty. Hmm, that's not good. What's this? Oh. That's your vampire teeth. Where are you getting these pink? <gasps> that's a lot of blood. It's not that much. I'm dying. I just can't swallow. It's like a Sahara Desert cotton balls in the Sahara Desert. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. He has to buy his assistants lots of drinks. I think that's only when he spills it at the beginning. Um, oh. Can you see? I can see the cotton balls. Good. Did, I forgot to ask him to eat the teeth so I could make a necklace out of the teeth. Can you call them? Can you go back and ask? Mm -hmm. I think they already threw them away. Did you see them? No. Well then, if they're... How do we know they're gone? I think you need to check. <laughs> I think that it'll be okay. Did they show you the proof that they took them out? No. Or, I mean, they could have just right. stuffed cotton balls down there and been like, We're done! Surprise! And then I 
fun now that it's still there. It's so dry. Hmm. I'll just play with my beard. It's not a beard, it's vampire teeth. Vampire teeth. Twenty more minutes, and then your beard comes out. What if I get attached to it? Well, you can keep it if you want. Uh, no, I mean attached to it in my mouth. Oh, oh. Well, then we have to go back to the dentist. Did he give you the prescription information? Yep. It just feels... Is that all cotton ball or is some of it swollen? Put some rubber band balls in there too. You're pulling my leg. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel it? This one does feel like it has rubber band balls. When can I drink? Not alcohol. Water. Uh, you. As soon as those cotton balls come out. I mean, travel light's really bright. Sure. Do they let me keep my sunglasses? Uh, nope. They took those away. You want all the lights off or just some of the lights off? Yeah, I want sunglasses. Here, we've got our own sunglasses. Those were, those belong to the dentist. Yeah, and then they gave them to me. Hey, do the extra dog move to the one? It's you. Are you a Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't have any teeth either. Thanks. Can you see the whole world now? Ta da! I thought the medicine had a blinding effect, and then I realized I just didn't have my glasses on. Can I grade these? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with them as long as you don't pull them out in the next 15 minutes. I'm gonna braid them. Usually you have, so it's like, a, usually you have three strands. So we're gonna have to get creative <laughs> and we do four strands. So just bear with me. My husband's filming my YouTube video. This is a beauty vlog. And when... <laughs> Whenever you have to have strings hanging out of your mouth, you want to still look good because, like, it's hard. And so you have to braid them. You can do any kind of braid you want. You can, you can French braid them. You can, some of them are a little harder to braid. And especially when it's attached to a cotton ball. You don't always have to use the cotton ball. It's optional. So then, I forgot how to braid. Hold on. I think I'm going to go for just a traditional braid here. And like I said, you can use any braid that you want. But I'm a little confused by the fact that there's four. Well, can't you turn one of them, one, two of them into one? I did that. I decided to use <laughs> logic and and do that. So now it is, I can just be more stylish because who just wants a bunch of like strings hanging out of their mouth? You gotta do something with it or else it's like a bad hair day. It's like a bad string day. And it kind of looks really bad right now, but it'll get better. It will look wonderful by the time we're done. No, that's okay. I end of video for my blog session. I can't swallow. And you want to finish braiding? No, it's kind of pointless at this point. <coughs> well, you just convinced everyone that you need to braid your yeah, walrus teeth. Yeah, but when teeth. you're going cross-eyed by braiding them, it's a little tough. 
And this thing won't let me bend my arm very well. Mm. I just wish that I had something to drink. How long did he say? I think once the cotton balls come out, you can get something to drink. And no straws. No straws. So just a Chick-fil-A milkshake with no straws. Yep. Got it. Are you actually going to go to work? I don't know. It depends on if I think you're going to hurt yourself here. Are you going to get my prescriptions? I already got them. You did? Yeah, the lady gave me a bag full of stuff. But I'm talking about the actual medicine. Okay, let's see here. It's like, sometimes you actually have to go get the prescription filled. I remember it. Yeah, I have to. They give you a piece of paper, think of voucher, and then you get to the person at the pharmacy. And they give you the goodies. Alright, it's already taking a selfie. It's videoing. So just talk to it. But I wanted a picture. Wait, I was going to talk to it. Hello? Is J365 of being a walrus? I'm actually becoming one. Like in the movie District 9 or whatever. No he becomes an What? Is it still recording? He becomes an alien. Yeah. And so this is the first sign that at least <laughs> physically manifested that I'm becoming an alien. I thought you said you were beautiful. I've heard stories of people sprouting blue veins. No. Blue webs. It's like a spider. There's a spider that's in my mouth. And he really wanted to stay, so I told him he could. And then he created these webs, which are permanent. And so it's making me become a walrus. Not a spider, as you'd think, like Peter Parker. Because the spider's webs are coming in my mouth, I am a walrus. Yes, it does. And then I will be a chipmunk, but I don't really want to eat the cotton balls and save them for later. They're just, it's just a resemblance of the chipmunk, like cute, you know, and tiny. And wow, they have beautiful teeth. Well, walruses need their chompers. Mm -hmm. Ask me a question. I will deliberate. How many planets are there in the universe? In the universe or in the Milky Way? In the universe. 5,945,000,000. Duh. What's it about Pluto? 5 billion five hundred and forty four wait that's an extra forty six not subtraction it's addition i can do math what else can you do not swallow not swallow you want to do more math no i hate math how many oranges can fit into no. an apple one are you sure Yes! What if the apple's really big? What if the orange is really big? Yeah, sounds like more of a philosophical question. You said it was math. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Yes, you were. How far can a watermelon drop from the Eiffel Tower? Well, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? Wait, without breaking? Or I don't understand the question. Can you repeat that, Alex? You say I'm out? It's like Alex Durrett from Jeopardy. Can you go get my prescriptions, please? I'm really getting nervous that the pain is going to start and I'm going to need them. Okay. Anytime now. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh, can you put the cold packs in the fridge freezer? Yeah, I think they already did. No, 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 the ones I just bought. They're on the counter. <laughs> you can put them in the fridge or freezer. I can recommend the freezer. Where are they? Sitting on the counter. Kiki, do you love me? Uh, they're right there on the counter. If I have to come in there and tell you where they are, I'm going to be so annoyed. They're the pancakes that I bought. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Summer, summer, no, 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 no. Wow. Oh, beautiful. I know. One for each side. He doesn't understand. He's not very good at math. <laughs> what are you telling me? Just don't tell him what I told you. It's between us. You know, I can go back and watch that video. Later. Okay, fine. I said you're not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, do you love me?